हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश सेशन ऑफ सीबीएसई पेंटिंग थ्योरी एग्जाम व्हिच इज शेड्यूल्ड ऑन एटीन ऑफ मार्च दैट इज सैटरडे सो हे आई विल डिस्कस द बेसिक सिलेबस एंड द थिंग्स एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स व्हिच यू नीड एट दिस लास्ट मोमेंट so switching there quickly so the syllabus is having basic three units first one is rajasthani and pahadi schools of miniature painting which carries 10 marks the mogal and deccan schools of miniature painting that is is also of 10 marks and the last one the unit 3 bengal school of painting and modern trends this also carries 10 marks that's make it total of 30 and time allowed is 2 hours so in rajasthani painting so unit 1 is rajasthani painting you need to read origin and development as well as sub schools bundi jodhpur bikaner kishangarh and jaipur main features as well as appreciation of paintings maruragani chogan players krishna on swing radha banithani and bharat meets rama at chitrakoot kindly note you only need to study this five paintings and no need of studying other paintings that is raja anirudh singh hara that's not in syllabus questions will be set only from this five titles as well as origin and development of rajasthani schools and sub schools in the same unit we also have the pahadi school again same origin and development sub schools vashali guler kangra chamba and gawal main features of pahadi school as well as appreciation of pahadi paintings if you go through the book you will see many paintings are listed under pahadi school but you just need to study this two paintings that is krishna with gopis nand and yashoda and krishna with kinsmen going to vrindavan there are two paintings number 1 krishna with gopis by manku and second one is nand yashoda and krishna and kinsmen going to vrindavan there is no need of studying other paintings which are listed in your books questions will be set only from this two paintings now moving to next unit that is unit 2 which consists of mughal and deccan schools of painting mughal and the mughal school again origin and development main features and study of following paintings what are those paintings krishna lifting mount govardhan falcon on badrest kabir and raidas and marriage procession of dara shikho just four paintings from mughal school of miniature painting you need to study krishna lifting mount govardhan falcon on badrest kabir and raidas and marriage procession of dara shikho 
these are only four paintings which are required to be studied at Mughal miniature schools. Origin and development of Mughal schools that is very important. You must not skip that. Do a thorough study of developments, Akbar period features, Jahangir period features as well as Shah Jahan period features along with fall of Mughal miniatures. Now coming to second session of unit 2 that is Deccan school. Again origin and development of Deccan school main features and finally you just need to study the two paintings that is Hazrat Nizamuddin Auliya and Amir Khusro and Chad Bibi playing polo. Chogan Khiladi, Chogan players, Chad Bibi playing polo. Just two paintings you are supposed to study from Deccan school of painting. Other paintings listed in the books are not for questions in this examination. These two paintings are sufficient. Now, moving to third topic that is Bengal school of painting and modern trends in Indian art. Now, this unit have several parts. Number one, Bengal school and study of its paintings. Second, a national flag of India and its significance and its development. So, how the flag has been developed and got its shape which we see right now have to be studied under this unit. Now, next, introduction to Bengal school, its origin and development, its nationalistic features as well as why it is a revivalist school. Again, in same unit, another topic that is very important is contribution of Indian artists in India's freedom struggle. Contribution of Indian artists in India's freedom. So, this is also a subtopic but very important from examination point of view. Uh, students must not skip this. Now, paintings which are supposed to be studied in Bengal school, Jarnes and Shiva and Sati, Radhika and Meghdoot. Only these four paintings are supposed to be studied in this Bengal school of painting that is Jarnes and Shiva and Sati, Radhika and Meghdoot. And last but not least, contribution of Indian artists in struggle for national freedom movement. These are main topics which is supposed to be done in this subject. Now, the second part of same unit is modern trends in Indian art. So, appreciation of following contemporary painting, you need not study how it originated. Just you have to study four paintings that is Rama, Vanquishing, Pride of Ocean, Mother and Child, Haldi, Grinders, Mother Teresa and these four paintings are to be supposed under modern trends in Indian art. Now four graphic prints are to be studied that is Children by Somnath Thor, Devi by Jyoti Bhatt, of Walls by Anupam Sud and Men, Women and Tree by K. Lakshma God. This four graphic prints are supposed to be studied well as questions will be set from this palettes only. We call palettes. The paintings are also called palettes. So, only this four graphics are to be studied. Now, sculpture. We have four sculpture that is Triumph of Labor. That is D.P. Rajodhari sculpture. Second one is Santhal family, modern sculptor Rampin Kavaj. Cries unheard, Amarnath Sagal and Ganesha by P.V. Janki Ram. Only these four sculptures are supposed to be studied for the examination which is supposed to be held in Saturday 18th of March. So basic thing which you need to study in this topic is this three paint four paintings 
four graphic prints and four sculptures only this paintings are to be studied there will be additional paintings listed in your book they are not important from exam point of view only questions will be set from this topics now moving to quick revision of and uh, important tips which you are supposed to remember for this examination let's move to that so rajasthani miniature painting origin and development as i told you earlier for each every topic origin and development is very important so rajasthani miniature painting point to be noted started in mid 15th century and continued till 19th century in rajputana that is rajasthan that's why it's called rajput painting also since the area was rajputana thus rajasthani miniatures are called rajput paintings or rajput miniature also now what are rajasthani paintings or what is rajasthani style it's combination of western indian jain miniature painting style and various folk traditions of india so what is rajasthani style it's mixture or combination of western indian jain manuscript miniature style and various folk tradition of india later other influences like deccan and mughal painting are also seen in rajasthani paintings with new idioms so on basis of geographical traditional and local preference sub schools of rajput paintings are developed let's see what are those sub schools the main sub schools are mewar jaipur kishangad jodhpur and bikaner now important thing is that the paintings mentioned in your syllabus are one from each mewar one from each jaipur one from kishangad one for jodhpur and one from bikaner from each sub school one painting is prescribed in your syllabus from mewar we have maluragini and so on from kishangad we have radha banithani from bikaner we have krishna on swing from jodhpur chogan players and from jaipur bharata meeting ram at chitrakoot so if you want to remember examples of each sub schools you can easily remember by this way now what are the subject matters radha krishna bhakti shringar ragamala nayak nayika bara masa bhagavat puran and puranic and folk stories are dominant subject matter of rajasthani or rajput school of painting what are the characteristic remember bright contrasting colors traditional costumes bold expressive human figures with sharp features female beauty these are the some characters of rajput painting school you will see the bright colors the traditional rajasthani costumes bold expressive lines and human figures with sharp features female beauty are characters of rajput painting now here comes sub schools the oldest school is mewar sub style mewar is oldest one and it is supposed to be starting place or originating place of rajasthani school of painting painter saibdin and manohar ha huh, are painted in this style and this is oldest one now bundi and kota sub style bundi and kota because of its close proximity to mughal empire shows mughal and deccani influence so hunting scenes and portraits are very common in bundi style kota very similar to bundi bara masa and hunting scenes are popular theme of kota paintings now the kishangarh style very important important style is kishangarh style the theme of kishangarh paintings were based on raja savant singh 
एंड बनी ठनी हु इज सिम्बोलाइज एस राधा सिम्बोलाइजिंग डिवाइन लव ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्णा निहाल चंद वॉज मोस्ट फेमस आर्टिस्ट ऑफ किशनगढ़ कोर्ट हु पेंटेड द डांसर ऑफ द कोर्ट बनी ठनी इन इट्स वेरियस पेंटिंग्स नाउ कमिंग टू जयपुर सब स्टाइल अंडर पैक्टर जो सवाई जय सिंह जयपुर सब स्टाइल डेवलप्ड इन दिस स्टाइल वी सी रिलीजियस एज वेल एज सेक्यूलर थीम्स विच आर इमोशनली चार्ज सो मोहम्मद शाह एंड साहिब राम आर सिग्निफिकेंट पेंटर्स ऑफ द स्टाइल यू कैन सी एग्जाम्पल भरत मेटिंग राम चित्रकूट पेंटिंग बाय गुमान इज ऑफ जयपुर स्टाइल नाउ Now, what paintings you are supposed to study? The painting is Maruragini by Sahabdin, where it is found from Mebar, or it is Udaipur, where it is safe collection, National Museum, New Delhi. Now, from this point, you need to remember each and every miniature of Rajasthani, Mughal, Pahadi, as well as Deccani. the medium will be water color on paper technique will be tempera you don't need to remember it separately the medium would be water color on paper and technique will be tempera where they are collected national museum new delhi is its collection now this painting is based on ragamala series this painting is based on रागमाला सीरीज यू कैन सी देंटिंग अ किंग एंड क्वीन आर शोन ऑन डेजर्ट इन बैकग्राउंड यू कैन सी ट्रेडिशनल राजस्थानी इन ट्रेडिशनल राजस्थानी कॉस्ट्यूम्स द कैमल इज शोन विद सेंस ऑफ मूवमेंट The king is holding in his flower and looking at the king. Here, a question was set in sample question paper that Rajasthani paintings show intimate. Ah, uh, sorry, Rajasthani paintings show love between and coordination between men and animal. So, this is one painting. which can be quoted as example of this painting that camel is peacefully camel is peacefully carrying the king and the queen and a dog also accompanying them so this thing can be mentioned as this thing this shows a relation between human and camel in this painting now coming to characters see the bright colors the bright colors are shown which is feature of rajasthani painting i told you earlier in the background you can see bright yellows bright blues figure are shown with traditional rajasthani dress and the top of the painting you can see in simple orange border some illustrated script in devnagari is written so this is your painting maruragini king and queen riding on a camel in a desert background a dog is accompanying them the king is looking at the queen with flower in his hand and two servants are going with them along with a person riding them in the front the next one is chogan players who painted it dana again same medium tempera watercolor on paper it's of jodhpur style and where is collected national museum new delhi what is subject matter six royal women are shown playing polo see there are six figures in various angles who are shown doing playing so they are wearing royal royal costumes royal jewelry they are all trying to control the red ball see then between there is a red ball they are all 
trying to control this red ball with their hockey sticks. The women are riding on various colored horses. See, they are adding on sky blue, dark brown, white, and horses are moving in different direction. These two are facing each other. They are moving outwards. However, they are also moving outwards. The background is painted using green, light blue, and yellow color combination. See the show of grass. The upper part of painting has some illustrated text. So this is your painting, Chogan players. Do not confuse with with painting of Deccan Miniature School, Cha Devi playing Lolo. There is another painting in Deccan School, which students often get confused. So do not mingle it with Deccan School, Cha Devi playing Lolo. That painting is different. and this painting is different so this is painted by dana and of rajasthani jodhpur school the next one is bharat meeting ram at chitrakoot bharat meeting ram at chitrakoot so painting by guman of jaipur style painted on watercolor on paper tempera as i have told you till bengal school each painting medium and technique are watercolor on paper and tempera and collected in national museum new delhi so this painting describes an episode of epic ramayana where bharat shatrugna along with their mothers wives gurus and other members went to chitrakoot to bring back rama and lakshman to ayodhya from exile so this painting is very peculiar in nature as many single figures are shown a number of times to narrate a entire story you can see all these blue figures are figures of rama and the entire story that his family members come they greet each other uh, they talk with each other they get some advice and finally after the entire event they all are leaving so entire story is narrated in this single painting so this painting at whole contains 49 human figures which describe the entire story often this thing is asked in short question how many figures are there in the painting bharata meeting ram at chitrakoot so you can see blue complexion ram wearing saffron dress and shown with halo behind the head so how will you identify ram in this painting see there will be halo you can see there is a halo behind his head wherever ram is shown you can see a halo is behind his head to show the godliness of ram the rama is not a normal human he is a god that is shown with halo now the central mid part is showing rama showing adorning the stages see the rama is showing the sages vishwamitra and vashishta they came and they are adoring the sages however here you can see they are greeting their mothers the mothers kaushalya kai kai they came they are greeting other so here you can see they are going to their mothers they are embracing their mother now here you can see sita is talking with three mother in laws and her three sisters mandavi shutakirti and uh, now here rama is talking with the gurus and lakshmana and bharat chakrutna shatrugna are shown standing behind now in left side of the painting you can see all figures are bit farewell they are leaving the space an entire event has gone the entire story the bharata kames they convinces rama to go back and get thrown of ayodhya they meet each other talks with each other and after that rama refuses and lakshmana leaves with paduka of shri rama the entire story is very beautifully depicted in this painting you can see a parnakuti or a hut 
with leaves behind the background and black color special decorations are used to depict the hut there is a hill see there is a hill behind and flowering plants are shown and in the front a pond of lotuses are shown the land is painted in light tones of and which contrast this painting see the dark background is dark and foreground is dark however the land is light this makes the painting contrasting okay so this is our painting with rama bharata meeting rama at chitrakoot now krishna on swing krishna on swing painting now krishna in swing this is painted by nuruddin rajasthani bikaner style time 1683 ad and technique as you know tempera on watercolor paper national museum new delhi this collection is this painting so subject matter this is based on keshavadasa rasik priya there comes often short question keshavadasa rasik priya is its subject matter in story krishna goes to swing with another gopi radha on seeing this become upset and sad no one could come between divine krishna and radha now the unique feature of this painting is this painting is shown in two parts if you see carefully the upper part shows a scene of mahal theek hai or palace and the lower part shows a garden very subtly separated by a hillscape and divided into two part the upper part shows a palace scene where krishna is sitting beautifully decorated hexagonal swing with a pillow at a backrest krishna painted in blue color wearing a saffron dhoti and white floral garland and pearl jewelry radha is sitting next to him with a backrest in a parapet wearing traditional costume and jewelry they are looking at each other you can see they are looking at each other now coming to lower part in lower part both of them are depicted in beautiful tree groups and krishna and radha shown sitting on red carpet see both of them sitting on red carpet with pillow rest but separate from each other now here krishna is wearing yellow dhoti the point is in upper part krishna was wearing red dhoti saffron dhoti and here he is wearing a yellow dhoti and lady figures appear wearing red and heart stripped ghagra and transparent choli possibly conveying some message so krishna and gopi they might have some fight and the gopi is trying to patch it up the background is painted in light yellow green mound which also separate the painting in two parts see what i have said the painting is separated in two parts very subtly without making in demarcation line so this is your krishna and gopis now the most important painting radha banithani each year a question is found from this painting in some or other form so mark it very very important radha banithani who is the artist nihal chand one second i am repeating the artist is nihal chand which school and sub school it's rajasthani kishangarh tempra watercolor on paper and time 1670 ad this painting belongs from 1670 ad now what is subject matter of this painting subject matter of is this painting is in this painting bani thani the court dancer of king sansar chand is shown as radha depicts classical feminine beauty in indian miniatures this painting is so famous that a poster stamp was issued on this painting so let's see the painting how it is the painting is characteristic because of mystic graceful smile see there is a subtle graceful smile in the face eyes are lotus shaped kamal nayan the lotus shaped eyes the bows are eyebrows are like bow 
the face is elongated you can see the face is elongated receding forehead and nose is very sharp there is a considerably big ornament in the nose which is called basri she is shown with curly hair see the hair locks how beautifully depicted the hair locks she is shown with curly hairs the curls you can notice going till end the curls she is holding a lotus on her left hand however the other hand is holding the transparent odhni or the chunni with golden border very gracefully she is wearing traditional rajasthani costume and jewelry the transparent odhni shows the costume and jewelry she is wearing see the odhni is designed in such a way that you can see the all ornaments all dressing all styling in the painting the background is painted in beautiful tones of blue so this painting is very important from examination point of view do not skip it remember it well so this is all with your rajasthani miniature painting now we will quickly switch to pahadi miniatures paintings we will quickly switch to pahadi miniature paintings let me change the slide so pahadi miniature painting so pahadi as the name suggest is of hills jo pahadon se aata hai that is pahadi painting so the painting developed in pahadi region basically jo himalayan region hai jo pahadi region hai that is from pahadi hills uh, the small kingdoms of foothill region of himalaya like uh, present day himachal pradesh punjab uh, parts of punjab i mean uh, jammu kashmir uh gadwal so this areas have their distinctive painting tradition uh from 17 to uh, 19th century so uh, this places are mainly like vasholi uh, chamba kangra mandi gadwal so this paintings are collectively known as pahadi school of miniature painting now the origin of pahadi painting is linked with mughal schools mughal emperor aurangzeb aurangzeb sorry aurangzeb was non tolerant to art and restricted all kind of art activities from mughal court mughal artist migrated from mughal court and took refuge in this independent himalayan kingdoms you might remember in mughal painting we have studied and the the atelier the court painting atelier style of akbar was finally shut by aurangzeb the artist who became jobless took refuge uh, in kingdom of this pahadi kings and took the mughal realism naturalism and the mysticism of pre existing pahadi tradition to a new level and that refined the final stage of indian miniature painting in my words so they added elements of mughal paintings into the pre existing painting styles of pahadi region this resulted in an exclusive painting style we call it pahadi painting however the origins are of much earlier it is about 1690 ad in banks of river ravi in vasholi we find the earliest pahadi painting later this thing spread into guler kangra mandi chamba gadwal kulu and many other places so the main characteristics of pahadi painting are you will find necessarily hilly landscape or scenic beauty of himalayas flora and fauna necessarily in pahadi paintings ab dekho ki piche pahad ka drishya hai to that makes very possibility of being a pahadi painting as well as round faces half moon shaped forehead 
average human figures along with flora and fauna of pahad major centers are pashauli guler kangra chamba mandi garhwal now coming to bashauli style bashauli style so bashauli is starting phase of pahadi painting yaad rakhna remember it what is originating place of bashauli is originating place of pahadi painting under patronage of raja kripal pal in 1690 rasamanjari by devidas devidas painted rasamanjari which is earliest uh, painting earliest known painting of pahadi style so flat background use of primary colors strong lines are features of this style now one more interesting factor about pashauli style is jewelry is shown with beetle wings to represent metallic shine ek keeda hota tha metallic wind to to jo beetle hota tha uske jo pankhon mein chamak hoti the shine that shine is to be filled in the painting so they used the beetle wings in they are paintings to give luster or shine to the jewelry to give luster and shine to the jewelry they used beetle wings now now next one is next important style is kangra style so kangra is most famous style of pahadi painting sansar chand the name of king is very important sansar chand of kangra and raja kripal pal of vasoli ye naam yaad rakhna uh, question might be asked under whose patronage uh, the pahadi uh, basholi school of pahadi miniature established theek hai ya yeah, or seen is golden age so the answer would be kangra for kangra sansar chand was great patron of art under his regime kangra painting reached its peak so flat background sorry so kangra style is known for its fine drawing beautiful subtle colors portraiture and natural beauty kangra style is known for what fine drawing beautiful subtle colors yani bahut chamkeele color nahi hote the kangra style mein सेटल रंग होते थे पोर्ट्रेचर यानी फेस बनाना और प्राकृतिक दृश्य नेचुरल ब्यूटी इज फीचर ऑफ कांगड़ा स्टाइल वट आर सब्जेक्ट मैटर्स ऑफ कांगड़ा स्टाइल ऋषिक प्रिया राधा कृष्ण लीला नायक नायिका एंड फोक स्टोरीज आर सम सब्जेक्ट मैटर्स ऑफ कांगड़ा स्टाइल ब्यूटीफुल डेकोरेटिव बॉर्डर्स रेड येलो ब्लू सेटल कलर्स वेरी फाइन डेकोरेटिव ऑर्नामेंटेशन realistic animal and background drawing display of light and shade along with nature it is characteristic feature so this is your kangra style now we will switch to study of paintings so first painting is your nand yashoda and krishna with kinsmen going to vrindavan in many books there is a confusion regarding which is painting for this so in many painting this is depicted wrongly this is the actual painting which you are supposed to study and describe if this question is asked in the paper this is the painting nanda yashoda and krishna with kinsmen going to vrindavan who painted it nan sukh yaad rakhna bahut important naam hai nan sukh स्टाइल पहाड़ी सब स्टाइल कांगड़ा अगेन मीडियम टेक्निक वाटर कलर ऑन पेपर टेम्परा जितने पेंटिंग है बंगाल स्कूल तक सबका सेम आएगा टेम्परा वाटर कलर ऑन पेपर कहाँ पे है ये राष्ट्रीय संग्रहालय नई दिल्ली नेशनल म्यूजियम न्यू दिल्ली 1785 एट्टी फाइव टू सेवेंटी नाइन क्राइस कॉमन एरा इज इट्स टाइम पीरियड वट सब्जेक्ट मैटर This is based on story of Bhagavat Puran. क्या है इसका subject matter विषय वस्तु This painting is based on story of 
भगवत पुराण अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टोरी इन ऑर्डर टू सेव चाइल्ड कृष्णा फ्रॉम एनिमीज किंग नंद शिफ्टेड टू वृंदावन सो द कृष्णा वेन यू वॉज यंग कंसा केम टू नो दैट इन फ्यूचर दिल बी किल्ड बाय कृष्णा सो ही अटेम्प्टेड टू कृष्ण किल्ड चाइल्ड कृष्णा एंड फ्रॉ टू सेव कृष्णा फ्रॉम कंसास वॉर्थ दे शिफ्टेड टू वृंदावन now let's see what is shown in this painting so in this painting you can see in the middle in a cart bull a cart with red canopy nanda is shown the cart is being pulled by two bullocks just behind him you can see in another bullock cart rohini yashoda krishna and balaram is showing in another cart with <coughs> sorry with pink canopy again this car is also pulled by a person and having two bullocks all the figures in this painting you can see are shown in traditional dresses and most have profile face dekho sabka aadha chehra hai aadha ya 3/4 chehra hai most have profile faces sloping eyes You can see the eyes are of lotus shaped and have sharp nose. ठीक है? Hmm. Some people are carrying. See, as they are shifting, there is exodus. So they are carrying their belongings like matka and uh, their cattle and their household and their household daily need things with them during their journey. The depiction is very life. You can see. there is naturalistic features there are shadows the oxen and cows in this painting are very natural see as if they have studied a real photograph and real animal for depicting of animals in the background roadside forest scene dekho piche jungle ka scene hai roadside forest scene adds extra beauty to this miniature there are few trees a flowing river that is yamuna uh, there are rock heads on which birds are sitting this makes it essentially pahadi painting because in most of the pahadi painting you will see a background which is linked with himalayan region its trees or plants on birds and other things so the painting is nand yashoda krishna with kinsmen going to vrindavan and this is the painting don't get confused as ready order painting and right that would be wrong so remember this painting if you want you can preserve a screenshot also since in many books a wrong picture is being printed now coming to next painting that is krishna with gopis so next painting is krishna with gopis who painted it manku style and sub style pahadi basholi sub school Again, watercolor on paper and time is seventeen thirty A.D. Now, what is its subject matter? It is based on Geet Govind by Jay Dev. Based on Geet Govind by Jay Dev, Krishna is shown with eight gopis. You can count there are eight gopis in this painting. So Lord Krishna is shown in happy mood. देखो सेंटर में कृष्णा है. He is in happy mood with gopis at bank of river Yamuna. all the eight gopis decorated in luxurious costume and are expressing their regards and emotion to lord krishna color of krishna is blue he is wearing bright yellow dhoti and a jewel decorated crown with peacock feathers on his head the upper portion is naked and decorated with variety of ornaments entire figures have profile face dekho all the figures have profile face very sharp eyes sloping forehead and lotus like eyes in center of miniature see the painting in its center lord krishna is embracing gopis third gopi is touching his feet fourth is in knee down posture and praying him Fifth is in prostration posture with her palm folded, हाथ जोड़ के नमस्ते कर रही हैं. 
सिक्सथ इज होल्डिंग अ फैन देखिए एक फैन पकड़ी हुई है सेवेंथ इज लुकिंग बैक एंड एट इज होल्डिंग अ चौरी सी ही इज लुकिंग बैक शी इज लुकिंग बैक एंड ही इज होल्डिंग अ चौरी द फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ होल ग्रुप इज डिवाइन एंड स्पिरिचुअल इन द बैकग्राउंड सी वेराइटी ऑफ ट्रीज आर पेंटेड बट हैविंग different colors in the foreground uh, the foreground is visible here but in foreground there is yamuna river has been depicted by a fine white flowing rhythmic pattern so only this two paintings are to be studied from pahadi school of miniature painting so students let's summarize from rajasthani painting you were supposed to so coming to point from rajasthani school uh, you need to suppose to study origin and development its major sub schools and paintings namely paintings maruragini radha banithani krishna on swing bharata meeting ram at chitrakoot and लास्ट वन दैट इज कृष्णा ऑन स्विंग यही पेंटिंग आपको स्टडी करना है और ओरिजिन डेवलपमेंट अच्छे से पढ़ना है नाउ इन पहाड़ी पेंटिंग यू आर सपोज टू स्टडी ओनली टू पेंटिंग्स दैट इज कृष्णा विद गोपीज एंड सेकेंड वन इज कृष्णा एंड किंग्समैन गोइंग टू वृंदावन now let's start with the second topic that is the mughal miniatures let me get the slide till then bear with me so coming to your unit 2 that is mughal and deccani miniatures so paintings which flourished in mughal court from 16th to 18th century under patronage of mughal kings is known as mughal miniature painting how it is originated babar in 1526 established mughal empire in empire in india His son Humayun and later his son Akbar expanded Mughal kingdom. They were both great patterns of art. Humayun spent several years in exile in Persia. While returning to Persia, he bought two Iranian master painters, very important name, Mir Syed Ali and Abdus Samad. So Babur ne 1556 me Mughal samrajya ki sthapna ki. उसके बेटे अकबर हुमायूं और उनके बेटे अकबर ने मुगल साम्राज्य का विस्तार किया और ये कला के अच्छे संरक्षक थे तो इन्होंने क्या किया जब ये पारस में कुछ साल ये रहे एग्जाइल में तो वहाँ से वापस आते वक्त इन्होंने मीर सैयद अली और अब्दुल समद को अपने साथ लेकर आए ड्यूरिंग अकबर this persian masters along with indian artist and with their pre existing tradition created a new art by combining a style called mughal style to so, seedhe shabdon mein jo mir sayyed ali abdus samad aaye the iran se 
इन्होंने ईरानियन स्टाइल को इंडियन स्टाइल के साथ कंबाइन करके एक नया स्टाइल सामने आया जो मुगल स्टाइल के नाम से जाना जाता है मुगल मिनियचर ड्यूरिंग अकबर सो अकबर इज नोन एज फादर ऑफ मुगल पेंटिंग अकबर वॉज इलिटरेट हेमसेल्फ बट अ कीन लर्नर एंड एंकरेज आर्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग बुक राइटिंग ही एस्टेब्लिश तस्वीर खाना और वर्कशॉप फॉर पेंटिंग इन हिस कोर्ट इन दिस वर्कशॉप अंडर ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ पर्शियन मास्टर आर्टिस्ट मीर सैयद अली एंड अब्दुल समद हंड्रेड्स ऑफ हिंदू पेंटर्स वेर अपॉइंटेड दिस रिजल्टेड इन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंडियन आर्ट स्टाइल एंड एस्थेटिक्स अलॉन्ग विथ ईरानियन और इस्लामिक आर्ट स्टाइल्स ड्यूरिंग अकबर पीरियड बायोग्राफी फेमस स्टोरीज वेयर एग्जीक्यूटेड सो सब्जेक्ट मैटर फॉर पेंटिंग ऑफ अकबर पीरियड वेयर सिस्टमैटिक एंड सीरियलाइज पेंटिंग ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ रामायण महाभारत हरिवंश पुराण हमजानामा टूटी नामा एट्सक्रा वे पेंटेड आर्टिस्ट ऑफ अकबर पीरियड मीर सैयद अली अब्दुल समद गोवर्धन दासवंत मिश्किन एंड शोहन कैक्सिस्टिक्स कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ एक्सेलेंट कलर मिक्सचर क्लियर एग्जीक्यूशन बाय वाइब्रेंट लाइंस माइन्यू डिलीनिएशन ओवर क्राउडेड बट बैलेंस्ड फिगर्स तो अकबर के समय के मिनीचर्स हैं यू विल सी देम ओवर क्राउडेड विथ फिगर्स विथ लॉट्स ऑफ स्टोरीज हैपनिंग टूगेदर बैलेंस्ड बॉडी असेंबलेज प्रिटी राउंड फेस एंड फुल फ्लैच स्क्रीन नाउ आफ्टर अकबर जहांगीर सेट ऑन थ्रोन एंड ही वॉज वेरी शार्प साइटेड एंड सेंसिटिव फॉर ब्यूटी ऑफ नेचर एंड ह्यूमन ड्यूरिंग जहांगीर पीरियड्स कॉन्टैक्ट विथ यूरोपियन वर्ल्ड इंक्रीज यूरोपियन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आर्ट लाइक शेडो थ्री डायमेंशनल फीलिंग वेर इंक्लूडेड इन मुगल पेंटिंग्स Jahangir was more interested in nature flora animals birds and paintings thus the during jahangir period we see nature painting in mughal period so peaceful nature and background decorative elements light and shade subtle colors plenty of animals are seen in this painting now come to शाहजहां पीरियड शाहजहां वॉज मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन आर्किटेक्चर दैन पेंटिंग सो द मुगल पेंटिंग कंटिन्यूड बट नॉट एज इफेक्टिव एज बिफोर सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ कोर्ट इवेंट्स परसेप्शंस फोक लव स्टोरीज लाइक दारा शिखो बाज बहादुर रूपमती एंड लैला मजनू पेंटिंग टू प्लेस सटल कलर्स मोर डेकोरेटिव एलिमेंट शो ऑफ ऑफ ग्लैमर ऑफ मुगल कोर्ट इज मोस्टली सीन इन शाहजहां पेंटिंग्स फॉल ऑफ मुगल मिनीचर सो औरंगजेब वॉज एन ऑर्थोडॉक्स इस्लामिक रूलर ही डिड नॉट अलाउड एनी आर्ट फ्रॉम टू बी प्रैक्टिस इन मुगल कोर्ट सो द आर्टिस्ट ऑफ मुगल कोर्ट माइग्रेटेड इन नियर बाय स्मॉल किंगडम्स लीडिंग टू फॉल ऑफ मिनीचर स्कूल सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट मुगल miniature it started with akbar got naturalistic approach during jahangir in shah jahan it continued but without innovation and finally it fall during period of aurangzeb now paintings of krishna lifting mount govardhan so this painting shows both persian as well as indian features the mountain is painting in persian style see the paintings see the mountain that is shown in persian style see the curvy way the colorful approach is a essential feature of persian or iranian school see how animals are shown over the mountains in the middle of the painting krishna is shown lifting mount govardhan he is wearing yellow his color is blue and he is holding govardhan parvat the people are taking refuge under the mountain surrounding him the background of krishna is brighter however in the entire painting you can see the background is dark showing the 
rain impact as if it's raining and background is dark the face of krishna is one eyed profile krishna is holding mouth over the the mountain is been made to appear realistic by painting massive rocks large trees see the massive rocks large trees many animals shrubs and grasses are painting between rock rocky ridges shows persian influence under the hill people have gathered i told earlier the blue color is dominant in the painting the krishna is holding mountain but is shown in relaxed posture this painting is painted by miskin time is 1595 to 1590 ad and this painting is based on story of harivams puran now coming to next painting that is kabir and raidas so often a question is asked uh, mughal saints uh, mughals uh, were secular in nature how how do you prove that mughals are secular in nature because the mughal court paintings from krishna's life at well as saints uh, are depicted this shows being islamic rulers they allowed and tolerant to other religions and saints this shows the mughals were secular in nature so the so kabir and raidas kabir you have all heard kabir das kabir ke dohe and raidas was also a famous philosopher religious philosopher so painting was done by ustad fakrullah khan 1640 ad water color on paper tempera technique collection is national museum new delhi mughal shah jahan period in this picture saint kabir and raidas are depicted so in this painting kabir uh, saint kabir sant kabir is wearing uh, weaving a cloth beside his herd in rural area gaon ka drishy hai wahan baithe kapda bun rahe hain the other great saint raidas is sitting close to him with mala of beads the saints are in deep meditation they are kisi vishay par gehan chintan kar rahe hain in composition show simple and peaceful environment of indian village इसमें आप देखोगे बहुत ही पीसफुल जो गांव का दृश्य है वो दिखाया गया है नाउ दिस पेंटिंग हैज ओनली शेड्स ऑफ येलो एंड ब्राउन एंड लाइट दिस इज अ मोनोक्रोमैटिक पेंटिंग मोनोक्रोमैटिक इज यूजिंग शेड्स एंड ह्यूज ऑफ अ सेमिलर कलर एक ही कलर के गहरे और हल्के रंग से जब पेंटिंग बनाते हैं वी कॉल इट अ मोनोक्रोमैटिक पेंटिंग एक ही रंग के अलग अलग आभाओं से चित्रकारी को हम कहते हैं मोनोक्रोमैटिक पेंटिंग द बॉर्डर ऑफ मिनीचर हैज सटल डेकोरेशन उसके बॉर्डर को देखो इसमें डेकोरेशन आपको दिखेंगे नाउ कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट पेंटिंग फैल्कन ऑन बर्ड रेस्ट सो बास पक्षी विश्रामी पर सो इन दिस पेंटिंग वॉज डन बाय उस्ताद मंसूर इन सिक्सटीन एटीन टू सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी ए डी मुगल जहांगीर एज आई हैव टोल्ड अर्लियर जहांगीर वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन नेचर एनिमल्स प्लांट फ्लावर्स सो इन जहांगीर टाइम पीरियड लॉट ऑफ फ्लावर्स प्लांट एनिमल्स ब्यूटिफुल एनिमल्स वे आर डॉक्यूमेंटेड so one of such example is this painting is falcon on bird rest this painting is included in jahangir nama the jahangir nama uh, was life of biography of jahangir's life so the falcon was painted for jahangir nama manuscript this falcon was gifted to shah jahan by shah abbas of iran which later died for some reason and Jahangir got it included in his 
लाइफ लाइफ बायोग्राफी दैट इज जहांगीर नामा सो दिस टीम फैल्कन इज पेंटेड इन रेस्टिंग ऑन क्वेश्चन बड रेस्ट विश्रामी इज कॉल्ड क्वेश्चन बड रेस्ट इट्स ए क्वेश्चन बड रेस्ट विच इज हाईली रियलिस्टिक द प्रोफाइल फिगर ऑफ फैल्कन इज पेंटेड इन ब्लैक एंड ब्राउन कलर्स अगेंस्ट द कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑफ येल्लो बैकग्राउंड सी द बैकग्राउंड इज येल्लो एंड ब्राउन एंड ब्लैक लाइट्स आर डिपेक्टेड इन दिस बैकग्राउंड a thin thread is crossed across and that is tied to the bud rest the top of painting bears inscription in devnagari jahangir padshah that is ruler jahangir in devnagari is written jahangir padshah that is ruler jahangir in middle bahri see bahri is written which means falcon bahri in parsi means falcon however script is devnagari and at lower part in devnagari uttam is written this painting has a very beautiful green decorative border the bird is very realistically painted and this is painting of jahangir priyat now coming to last painting of your mogul school that is marriage procession of dara shikho who painted it hazi madni hazi madni and time period is 1740 and from where it belongs provincial mogul means avadh from avadh mogul this painting is belongs to avadh mogul and watercolor tempera on paper national museum new delhi so see the painting the grand marriage procession of mughal prince dara shikho that is shah jahan shon son is shown in this painting this painting depicts marriage procession barat of mughal prince shah jahan son dara shikho now this paintings you need to see things carefully in this painting just see in the center of the painting in center of the painting dara shikho is well dressed and shown riding a dark horse he can be identified as groom because of his sehra on his face his father is shown just on another horse behind him this one is shah jahan he is shown another horse with a halo behind his head just to mark him special some of royal people of barat are also shown on horseback and on foot the baratis are shown some are on foot some are on horses so they are all attending dara shikho's barat some women were also riding on elephant in the background you can see some people are also riding on elephant some drummers are beating their drums on elephant see there are drums nagara over the elephant which are being beaten uh, played for the barati large number of men women and young children a bride's party is receiving the barat see the barat is being received by kanya paksh or the bride's family members and relatives they are receiving the barat most of the figures are in profile view most of the figures are in profile view all the people are dressed in bright color garments decorated with golden color they are dancing singing and enjoying in the dark background sky you can see firecrackers in sky background the painting has a beautiful decorative border a question was seen in a uh, sample paper the mughal painting shows very crowded composition very systematically effectively so you can mention this painting dara shikho ki barat in example of this as well as krishna lifting mount govardhan in this category which shows lot of crowd in mughal paintings as well as secular nature of mughal painting is very important thing which can be also asked in questions
now now coming to last part of this unit that is mughal uh, deccan school of painting So Deccan school of miniature painting refers to miniatures rendered from 16th to 19th century in states of Bijapur, Ahmednagar, Golconda and Hyderabad. So Bijapur, Golconda and Hyderabad are three main centers where Deccan schools are developed. So evolution, the first phase was issue Adil Shah established Adil Shahi court in Bijapur. He invited artists, calligraphers, painters and scholars in his court. The artists were skilled in Islamic style and pure Islamic idioms. The art of those Islamic painters were confined to text illumination. The painted copies of few Quran, Anwar Suheli, Yusuf Zuleikha are few paintings of this first phase. The second phase were rulers of Deccan Sultanate were born in India. Their interest was Indian and themes of mysticism as opposed to their ancestors whose tastes were Persian, Turkey or Iran. The coast artists from Iran, Persia, Turkey or local artists combined Islamic idioms with Indian elements. Indian themes were painted along with erotic themes. The third phase in beginning of 18th century, Golconda court painting idioms with combined elements of Mughal paintings. The painters of Mughal court migrated to court of Hyderabad and refined from the Deccan school formed. So what are main characteristics? Persian influence that is high horizon, lavish, lavish use of golden color, bright sky, exquisite depiction of flowers and creepers are features of Persian art seen in Deccan painting. Mughal and European influence, architectural depiction in three dimension. Light and shade is clearly visible in Deccan art. Tall, fair complexion, emotionally charged males and sensual looking females are some features of Deccan school of miniature painting. Now, coming to paintings of Deccan painting, the two paintings are supposed to be studied here that is Chat Baby playing Polo. Artist unknown style. Golconda Deccan, Golconda Deccan, time period is 1758 AD and the painting you can see in your screen, Cha Bibi playing Polo. So this painting depicts Cha Bibi and three other royal women are playing Polo on their horses. Chad Bibi in royal costume along with four other women riding on decorated horse. See Chad Bibi. All the players and horses are painted in different colors. See the four painter, the four horses have four different colors. Two players in the front are shown holding hockey sticks. The back two plow players are shown trying to control the ball with their sticks. See, they are trying to control the ball. However, these two are just chasing the ball, you can say. In center, a woman who is trying to control the game. Now, here comes a question. Name the painting from your syllabus which shows woman empowerment. So, in this type of question, woman empowerment, you can always mention this painting. Chad baby playing polo from Deccan school or Chogan players from Rajasthani school where you also saw four women playing 
चौगान और पुलोलो अलादर वन इज राधा बनी ठनी कैन ऑल्सो बी इंक्लूडेड इन दिस कैटेगरी इन द बैकग्राउंड हैज अ एरियल व्यू ऑफ अ बिग फोर्ट विजिबल अलॉन्ग विद स्मॉल वाइट कलर्स एंड बिल्डिंग्स सी देर आर स्मॉल वाइट कलर्स एंड बिगनिंग एंड बिल्डिंग्स द फ्लैट ब्लू स्काई हैज अ येलो सन इन फ्रंट देर इज अ वाटर बॉडी सी अ वाटर बॉडी इज देयर विथ ब्लूम लोटसेस द पेंटिंग हैज अ ब्रॉड बाउंड्री सी द होल पेंटिंग हैज अ ब्रॉड बाउंड्री एंड इन लोअर पार्ट ऑफ बाउंड्री यू कैन सी पर्शियन कैलीग्राफिक वर्क और कैलीग्राफी डन इन पर्शियन दिस इज द पेंटिंग ऑफ चाँद बीबी प्लेइंग पोलो नेक्स्ट पेंटिंग इज हजरत निजामुद्दीन ओलिया एंड अमीर खुसरो पेंटर अनोन स्टाइल डेकन हैदराबाद मीडियम एंड टेक्निक वाटर कलर ऑन पेपर टेम्परा टाइम पीरियड फिफ्टीन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी टू सेवनटीन सेवेंटी ए डी नाउ दिस पेंटिंग शोज सूफी सेंट हजरत निजामुद्दीन ओलिया अलॉन्ग विथ म्यूजिशियन अमीर खुसरो प्लेइंग म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन मिस्टिक एनवायरमेंट सी निजामुद्दीन ओलिया एंड अमीर खुसरो आर सेटिंग टुगेदर द हजरत निजामुद्दीन ओलिया शोन विथ वाइट बियर्ड देख द वाइट बियर्ड ऑफ निजामुद्दीन ओलिया ही इज वेरिंग अ वाइट He is wearing a headgear and a red waistband. His costumes are green. A yellow halo has also shown behind his head, showing divinity of his character. In front, Amir Khusro is shown sitting with knees and playing musical instrument. His dark beard justifies his young age. See, Hasrat Nizamuddin Olia has white beard and. Amir Khusro has dark beard. The compound they were setting is painted with yellow and red stripes. See, the background has red and yellow stripes. The area has a red color grill. In front, you can see a red color grill is drawn. Background is flat. See, there is no shading in background. It's flat. And red floral beds. A tree with a red and yellow flower. and fruit stand on the right a flower and fruit are come see shown in a tree in the background so this is your painting that is hazrat nizamuddin oliya and amir khusro so that's all about unit 1 and 2 tomorrow we will we'll take up unit 3 hope you got the sessions and if you have any doubt you can ask me on any platform Now I will take the questions. Okay, some students are asking, sir, Hindi medium वालों के साथ अन्याय हो रहा है बेटा हिंदी में हमने यूनिट थ्री परसों मैंने लाइव किया था आ, मैं आपको लिंक भेज दूँगा आप उससे उसे अच्छी तरह देख सकते हो YouTube में लाइव करने का यही फ़ायदा है कि आप बाद में भी लेक्चर्स को अपने समय के हिसाब से सुन सकते हो आज मैंने इंग्लिश में किया है कल यही वाला पार्ट में जो होगा बायलिंगुअल कर दूंगा एक ही पार्ट आपका रहता है उसे मैं बायलिंगुअल कर दूंगा तो आप हिंदी पार्ट को देख सकते हैं वो कहीं ना कहीं सेव पड़ा होगा ठीक है बाकी कोई भी समस्या हो आप क्वेश्चन करें मुझे पूछे आई एल बी अवेलेबल ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन टिल एग्जाम्स ठीक है सो स्टडी वेल कंसनट्रेट and wish you all the best for your examination so see you tomorrow again we'll be notify on time what will be link and thanks okay goodbye